Welcome back. Americans have always seen themselves as adventurers, ready to pick up and travel across the country in pursuit of opportunity. It's a central part of the American dream. Tonight, we introduce you to a man who will tell you his own story. He's leading a wave of sorts, searching for the American dream, not in a far corner of our country, but in a far corner of the world. It can feel like... Cleveland, Ohio. It can feel like San Francisco. It can feel like Terre Haute, Indiana. But in actuality, you're in Beijing, China, only half a mile from Tiananmen Square. And so you couldn't be any more China than where we are right now. My name is Carl Setzer. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and this is my brewery, Great Leap Brewing. We've had an opportunity to meet other Americans that have already started businesses. CC Sweets, which is a cupcake bakery. Lost and Found, which is an interior design and high-end fashion shop. There's the veggie table that deals 100% in vegan menu, drinks, everything. And then there's home plate barbecue that do Texas style, southern style um, smoked meats and barbecue. All sorts of fascinating things that are really starting to represent the American entrepreneurial spirit in Beijing, which before was lacking. So every day I leave my house and walk to the brewery. Most of these alleyways are 100 to 200 years old. A lot of culture and a lot of history here. We first opened to the public on October 2nd, 2010. The first night we sold two kegs and we thought that that was amazing. Um, but now we move on average 30 and 40 kegs a week. I don't think that I could do this in the States the way that we did it here. You look at a city like Cleveland or Pittsburgh, you're talking about urban center, 300 to 400,000 people and there's a dozen or two microbreweries per city. Here, there's 22 million people that live in Beijing, and as of 2011, we were it. In one of our beers, we use uh, Sichuan peppercorn, which is called Huajiao. You go to a market, and there are these spices on the shelf that you'll never see in America, and your mind goes crazy when you think about brewing. So usually when you come here, the best part is making banter with the vendors that run the stores. <laughs> the vendor gave me his opinion of Obama, which is he thought he was very evil. But he thought my Chinese was really good, so you split the difference. He seems like a pretty nice guy. And I think, you know, we've already started something that's going to inspire a lot more people to do craft brewing. I'm just very proud that we were the first. When there is a Chinese craft brewery that makes a beer that's better than mine, that'll want to probably be one of my proudest accomplishments. That's delicious. Our thanks to Carl Setzer for his own story of his pursuit of the American dream.